Welcome to Crypto Journeys, the series, where everyone's journey is different, but crypto can be for everyone. It's May 2021, and we celebrate International Month, where we recognize members of our global cryptocurrency community. Crypto Journeys is sponsored by guapcoin.org, cryptocurrency for the culture. If you are new to crypto, we want to make sure you get started on the right foot. Join us for training during the month of May, where we will show you how to start on a solid foundation, navigate the crypto space safely, and ensure that your assets are protected. Welcome everyone to Crypto Journeys, the series. It, it is May, 2021, and we are celebrating International Month. We want everyone to know that there is a global community of cryptocurrency enthusiasts, and my crypto journey has enabled me to meet some really interesting people. So our first guest for International Month is Kirtesh Kara out of South Africa. Welcome, Kirtesh. Hi, Ansulia. Yes, good to be on your show. I've actually been looking forward to this. You know, I see you're doing some good stuff in this space um, and highly commend you for creating and sharing your awareness with whatever you are doing. It's, it's, it's being observed nicely. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you so, so much. It's a pleasure to have you here with us. Please tell us a little bit about yourself, whatever you'd like to share. Okay, sure. So look, my journey with the whole crypto industry started like many years ago, I would say 2009, 2010. Um, but what I actually do and, and how everything started falling into place for me, I, there was a space in my life where I was attending personal development events and then I liked the whole idea of law of attraction and how people can get motivated by listening to motivational speakers. And that led me to attending multiple events throughout Southern Africa and then building up connections and relationships with the event organizers. That obviously put me um, on the back end of promoting events for them. And then like when I speak about law of attraction Action, and, and speak about how the secret works, um, I actually ended up doing events for Robert Kiyosaki, for guys like Deepak Chopra, for guys like Dr. John Martini, who was actually in the secret. And that was like a, the tipping point for me, you know? So I got very good at promoting events online using digital marketing. And some of these events were speaking about wealth creation and how people can basically change their life if they have their assets positioned correctly. And it so happened that during this time, they ended up speaking about digital assets and cryptocurrencies. And then I somehow put the two together and fused my, my digital marketing skills with my crypto knowledge and created a crypto digital marketing agency. So during that time, I know it not too long ago, and even in today's time, um, there are obviously still a lot of scams out there when it comes to, to crypto. So I positioned myself as an agency that helps people in the crypto space, people that are crypto entrepreneurs, and they have like good products to promote. I position them as credible sources of information online and get them to basically stand out um, in a crowd of, of crypto confusion. So that's essentially, that's essentially just to cut it short, that's essentially what I do. Well, first of all, that is a really interesting background. You have some impressive contacts there. <laughs> and also what you're doing is very important because it's something that I like to talk about too, how to, we can help people to avoid the scams and the, um, the people that give crypto a bad name. So it's important, it's vital actually, what you're doing, what the service that you're providing. So you, said, so you said that you were doing, you know, the event planning that got you into the wealth. So what about what you were learning kind of make you, made you say, hmm, I really need to do this now. What was your aha moment? Okay, so look, um, well, my dad was the one that actually got me involved in the whole crypto space when he read a few articles about it back in 2009, 2010. And then I ended up keeping my eye on the whole crypto space and then being, being involved in the digital space, being involved with digital marketing. When someone speaks about cryptocurrency and cryptography, and then, and then when you think about, about making the transition from, from paper to the internet and being in the digital space, everything just sort of fell into place. You know, uh, I'm the type of person that likes a whole lot of sci-fi movie. I like my tech stuff, I like my gaming stuff. So when you speak about digital currency, um, I'm not sure if you remember back then there was a game called Second Life where you could create virtual avatars of yourself. And okay. I think if I'm not mistaken, on that very platform, um, one of the very first transactions of Bitcoin happened where people changed a Linden dollar for Bitcoin. And in this entire virtual space, you can basically generate an income converted into crypto and then withdraw it as cash. 
So that was like my aha moment, um, you know, fusing, basically seeing sci-fi become reality with the introduction of, of crypto and the blockchain. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I'm not a gamer, but I have heard of such games. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I've been hearing that too, that um, another one of my associates, he got introduced to Bitcoin because he was learning how to play poker and that's what they were giving. So it's really changing. It's really revolutionizing how we do a lot of things in real life even now. And it's exciting to me to see all that's happening, all the fast developments and all the opportunities that are coming along. So has crypto changed your life, Kritesh, and if so, how? Yes, it has in a number of ways. Firstly, providing uh, a whole lot of time freedom for me to do what I want, when I want, which wasn't initially like that. You know, people think it's easy now when you speak about crypto, but back in the day when crypto was not where it was, um, it really required a lot of guts to actually hold crypto, not knowing where it was going to go. And for people that did that, it, it doesn't, it's not an overnight success. You know, if you look at how things have developed over the years till now. So using all of that, um, I've decided to basically help change other people's lives as well by teaching them the skills they need in order to utilize cryptocurrency and create financial freedom. I mean, understand how DeFi works, understand how decentralized finance works. So, so time freedom, location freedom, it allows me to build an income and also create an impact. And that's what I'm actually focusing on doing now. You know, there, there, there comes a point where it's not about the money anymore, but it's about how many people's lives you can change right. by them understanding how the technology works. You know, a simple thing like, like DeFi, if you understand how cryptocurrency works, and instead of going to the process of applying for loans from your financial institution, if you have cryptocurrency, you can use DeFi, loan your crypto out, get the loans and pay it back. So all of that stuff is game changing. And um, that's what I'm essentially doing now, helping change people's lives by making them understand how it works. And you absolutely do, because first of all, you give fantastic content on your Facebook page. I mean, a lot of valid, useful information, which a lot of pages don't do that. So for that, I'm grateful because I do pay close attention. So tell us a little bit about NFTs, because that's the, the thing everybody's talking about. And I know you know that area well. So just give us some tidbits for those of us who may be unfamiliar. Sure. Okay. So NFT pronounced in one of two ways, non-fungible tokens or non-fungible tokens. Right. And um, I basically see it like the best way to explain it, right? When Bitcoin first came out, no one knew how to have a visual representation of cryptocurrency because it was just numbers and hashes essentially, you know? Mm-hmm. So now with NFTs, if you look at um, a dollar, if you were to give me a dollar today and I give you a dollar tomorrow, it's very difficult for us to differentiate that dollar, a dollar is a dollar. Mm-hmm. But with NFT, if I am taking the Mona Lisa painting and digitizing it, there's only one off. So it becomes very rare. If I am taking baseball cards, Pokemon cards, and I digitize it, then it has its value. And there's only one off it, like a DC comic, the very first edition, there's only one of it. Right. That's why I sell for $2.5 million for one of those DC comics. So in the very same space, um, there's a gap in the market for people now using blockchain to digitize all of the stuff and then assign them addresses and wallets where you can actually store your NFTs. Now, NFTs can be, can be virtual clothing. It can be pieces of art. It can be a domain name, which is an NFT. If you look at, uh, I think it's unstoppable, unstoppable domains. They're selling, mm-hmm. like you can buy blockchain.crypto for a hundred thousand US dollars because it's only one of it, you know? Right. Mm-hmm. So um, with regards to the gaming space, I'm more focused with regards to NFT and, and gaming because I can understand how Candy Crush works and how Candy Crush makes a lot of money. So by incorporating this entire ecosystem into the blockchain platform, you allow the users to partake and the users can obviously become part of the ecosystem. And if they believe in the product, they are buying tokens backing up the NFT. And as the project evolves and as the project generates uh, media hype and the token price increases by you becoming one of the first members to to be part of the community you obviously benefit from from the uptrend as well you know so so in short it's digitizing your entire life creating virtual reality creating augmented reality um, i see a future where people are going to be buying and selling virtual land so virtual land is also an nft and most people can't understand or can't wrap their mind on why would you spend money on virtual land and i look at virtual land as pixels but at the very same time, it's equivalent to a website domain name. And within that ecosystem, if I have to enter a, an address in a virtual space, I can target people and place ads and place billboards 
on my virtual piece of land as if I would on a website. Hmm. So it's just a matter of time. I mean, there's a lot of companies doing that. There's, there's okay. decentral land where you can build virtual. Mm -hmm. yep. So the mana token backing decentral land is, is also doing quite well. And I got involved with mana token when it was like 0 0.007. And I think today it's sitting on $1.49. And that's because gamers are getting involved and obviously the burning happens with the tokens and the more people buy and sell stuff within the platform, the economy obviously increases. You know, there's another one called Somium Space as well, mm -hmm. uh, where you can, there's, you can, you can build architectural houses and put on augmented reality or the Oculus and basically walk around that platform uh, viewing what's there to see, you know? So, wow. so it's good. I'm sure you heard of Earth 2 as well. Yes, I have heard of Earth 2. Yes. Okay. So that's also mind boggling, you know? So yes, I'm, it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm into all of that stuff. How would people spend so much of money on virtual pieces of land? But if you can see where the future is heading and if you watch all these cyborg movies, um, even Ready Player One, you'll mm -hmm. understand that it's not far off and that's going to become the norm essentially. Fascinating. Yeah, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Like the digital art, I get that. But some of it is still kind of like, okay, I'm going to have to keep processing and, and understand all of this. But it is really interesting. It's just um, so many possibilities that blockchain and cryptocurrency are affording everyone. And I'm just glad to be where I am right now, connected to the people I'm connected to, because I do feel like I'm really informed for the most part, even though I don't understand it all. But at least I'm, I know what's happening. And that's a good place to be with, especially when you're talking finance and the future of money. So awesome. Is there anything else that you would like to share with us, Kritesh, before we let you go? Well, not really. I think I've summed it up. Um, <laughs> essentially, though, if there's anyone watching this video and if they would want some advice or some tips on how to, how to conduct crypto digital marketing for their products or services, um, they can just drop a comment or shoot us a message or something, and I'll be more than welcome to help them navigate the space and develop strategies that can help them further promote their crypto projects. And I will say that Kritesh is very knowledgeable because he and I connected on LinkedIn and we've met and he's explained a lot of things to me. So do not hesitate. I will put your website link here on the Facebook Live as well as on the YouTube video so that people can find you easily. And I wanna thank you so much for taking time to share some information with us about your crypto journey and about the amazing world of NFTs. <laughs> cool, thank you. Thanks a lot. It was a pleasure being on your show. Absolutely. So I'm sure we'll be connecting and chatting offline and I hope you have a great, well, a great rest of the night over there, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just gone past 10 o'clock now. Okay. Awesome. Thanks again. And you take care. I'll talk to cool. you soon. Everybody you. have a great afternoon. Goodbye. All right. Bye-bye.